Welcome to the 16th tutorial on HTML and CSS. We left off in the last tutorial by talking about inline style sheets and how they can be used. Well in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can, how you can link to external style sheets and how we can use those. The benefit of external style sheets is basically it keeps things a lot neater especially if you have a lot of files it can be easier to find where you went wrong. And another important thing is the order of precedence that I was talking about. But like I said, we'll go through that in later tutorials. It's not important at the moment. So the first thing we want to do, we want to call the link tag. And the type of style sheet, well, the type of file that we're going to be using is a style sheet. Uh, should I spell that right? Yeah, style sheet. And the type of style sheet we need to call next is going to be a text CSS file. Now we need to tell the browser exactly where it can find that. And I'm just going to call mine style.css. I'm going to close this off over here and save that. Now what we want to do, we want to create a new file and save that wherever your main HTML page is. And you're going to call it style.css. I've already got one, so I'm just going to replace that. Alright, so we'll go back to our HTML page. Now we've linked to our style sheet. So first thing we want to do, we're going to create a h1 tag here. And we're going to close it off here. And we're going to go this will be we'll make it green. So we're going to go over to the style sheet. And we're going to go h1. And what you do in external style sheets, use these curly braces. And this is saying for everything inside H1, these are the properties that you're going to assign to it. And like we did before in the external one, in the internal one rather, we're going to call the color property. This time it's going to be green. Remember that semicolon to close it off, and then we're going to save it. I'm going to come back in here, load it, and there you go. The text is green. And this also works for things like body create new curly braces and remember how we did with the background before so we're going to go background color this time we're going to make it orange save that open it up again and there you go green and orange beautiful combination go back to our HTML, HTML. Uh, let's why do I add another body tag for uh, another paragraph tag that I'll do this will be what should we call it black close that paragraph tag off go back to style p here curly braces we're going to go color black close that off and there you go text is black so this is how you can use external style sheets so you just link to them and you call your HTML elements inside here and then from inside your CSS file you assign the attributes to these elements so the color, the background color of your page and this is just some really basic CSS as the tutorials go on we'll be showing you some more advanced um, features of CSS such as how we can position items and things like that IDs and divs and so on that we'll get into later date but for now that's all you need to worry about the difference between internal and external style sheets hope you understand that if not then go back and watch it again and hopefully you get it so thanks for watching and stay tuned for next time